Welcome to my presentation of the structure and interpretation of computer programs, the bite-sized version. Um, I'm doing this as a student, so we will see how this goes. So uh, first thing first, uh, start by going to MIT's uh, structure and interpretation of computer programs site. Um, here you'll see you have the full text, programming assignments, code from the book, yada yada yada. So the part we want is how to get Scheme. So we're going to click how to get Scheme. We're going to go to the Scheme homepage and down here is where you have the download. So if you're on Unix you can go ahead and check the Unix instructions. So and there's the binary. Windows instructions uh, here it's actually just like a normal installer. I am on OS X so normally you would click uh, your version and download it and I already did that so if I open my downloads um, you can see MIT scheme down here and once that's done you it comes up with this um, you go ahead and drag that into your applications which I already did again and it should show up in your applications folder here as MIT scheme now this is where things get a little bit tricky because I tried to just go um, back here and it said, you know, how to scheme, how to start scheme, and it, it did not work. So thankfully there is this thing called don't panic. Um, and it's wonderful and it talks about how to do the Mac stuff. So for me, you go and get it just like you normally did. And then you need to put this code into your terminal. And I already did it, so I won't. But you would type this in here, or copy and paste it. Um, you might have to get the Xcode um, and X Windows and all these. I didn't. Then um, I didn't get this message, actually. Finally, I put in this here, and I put it in. And then, this is when things started to work. So, alright, I thought it did. Alright, so let's do this. Maybe it'll work. It worked last time. And then MIT scheme. And there we go. So, this is how I got the MIT scheme and I got it started working. I don't know if I'm going to have to put this in every time. I really hope not. I'm going to try closing out terminal and see um, if it will let me have it again. Ah, darn it. Okay. Yep. Okay. So you have to type in this alias MIT scheme contents resources on my scheme every time, at least on mine, because apparently it didn't work, which is totally fine. Um, so that is how you do it. I will just make sure I bookmark this page and save it there. So that's the first step. So now, thanks for finishing. I'm going to terminate that this video with me. So next thing we're going to do is go ahead and actually get started with the concepts from the first chapter. Um, so stay tuned for the next video.